I just really want to see what it's going to bring to the Congo Basin, I guess. Um, what sort of information we're going to get out of it. Um, the, you know, the Congo's, it's very difficult to, to actually measure what's happening there in situ. It's, yeah, it's for, for a lot of reasons. Uh, so, yeah, I think things like actually getting discharge measurements and lots of different parts of that basin is going to be something we've never had before. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited to see those. Uh, well, it was uh, just a PhD project came up, uh, which I liked the sound of. They said, you might get to go to the Congo Basin. I thought that sounded cool. So uh, that's, that's how I got involved in it. And uh, yeah, luckily for me, it happened. We got to go, we did fee, three field, field trips in the Congo, uh, right the way from Kisangani to, to Kinshasa on a boat, which was a pretty epic experience. Um, I made some really good, strong connections with um, uh, the university in Kinshasa, uh, Rafael Shimanga's team, and yeah, we, we, we still work closely with them. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so I think there's a really startling statistic about how the Congo has been studied an order of magnitude less than the Amazon. So I think that's, that's kind of something that came out recently out of an AGU um, Chapman conference and, and monograph on, on the Congo. Yeah, it's really uh, kind of, uh, the Amazon's been, been studied a lot more than the Congo, put it that way. Um, so uh, yeah, it's time to try and, try, and, uh, try and put some more focus on the Congo, I think and yeah, SWAT is gonna definitely help with that. Uh, well, we're not the day itself, but uh, I know that there's kind of uh, Calval site in the Congo. Um, so we just started to talk about that this week with uh, a couple of guys here about maybe trying to get out there and uh, do some measurements to, to coincide with the, the overpasses there. Um, so that's kind of up in the northern part of of the Congo River near a place called Bumba, which, which I've been to before, I know it. So yeah, I think it'd be great to go back there and yeah, and, and do some Calvel measurements maybe. Uh, so one of the things we do is we model the hydrodynamics. Uh, so we, we're interested in modeling, well, yeah, uh, hydraulics for, for lots of reasons. One of the big ones is inundation. So predicting inundation in the Congo Basin because well, it's very difficult to see inundation because it's all happening under vegetation in the Congo. Um, so one thing we can do is try and model, model that inundation and see, uh, see where it's happening. Um, another thing is just modeling river levels maybe in lower flows because of uh, um, navigation of this river. So the river's really heavily used for, for um, transport in the in the Central African region um, but navigation can be quite hazardous because when the water levels get low the boats hit the sandbars and get stuck and if you can predict what water levels are going to do that could help a lot with 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 those risks um, so yeah just a couple of things off the top of my head um, yeah 